Hello friends, hello Flutterflow developers. My name is Andre. Welcome to API Flow channel. Today we will discuss about how to implement Stripe subscriptions in web applications in Flutterflow. For example, you can create some SaaS on like web app and you build a part of it for subscriptions, maybe only for billing or wall app as Flutterflow web application. And you need to connect Stripe to handle your subscriptions to manage your customer subscriptions data. So in this video, we will discuss how you can do this, how you can create subscriptions and collect required data to uh, charge your customers monthly for access to your application. So we will use uh, we will use API Flow platform for uh, this project, and let me show how to connect your Stripe to API Flow first. So first of all, we need to create a new project in API Flow. API Flow allow you to connect different services, and we will select Stripe here. And for example, we will use Flow Stripe subscriptions project, create project. Next, we need to connect our Stripe uh, account. So first of all, we need to specify merchant display name. I will name it API Flow. Uh, next, I need to select merchant country. I use United States for my country, uh, for my merchant. And next, what we need to do, we need to specify Stripe publishable key and Stripe secret key. You can find these data in your account in Stripe. Here, I will use uh, test uh, values, so this will allow me to test it in like uh, my application without really charging some uh, cards. To switch to production, you need just disable test mode and copy new tokens and connect them to API flow. So let me connect. Publishable key is a public key and secret key you need to keep secret. So I will, for a moment, Pause recording and we'll fill my token. Now I have my secret key field. Uh, we don't use mobile payments, we only use web, so we don't need to provide Apple merchant ID. So we can save our we can save our uh, connection. Now what we need to do, we will publish our integration, and now we will go to uh, we will download open API definitions load them and now we will go to our application i have a few screens here and we'll describe in a moment what to do what we will have here in our application so next so next we will upload uh, api call definition into our project into api call section and now we will went back to api full platform copy authorization header and add this header into our API call. That's all, that's all about first part about integrating Stripe with Flutterfall. Uh, but but uh, if we want to simplify work for ourselves, we can follow a guide here in, uh, in API flow and create data type, which is called Stripe session to simplify work with our uh, subscription API call. So we will go to uh, data scheme data types part and we'll click this button create a data type based on scheme or a sample JSON response. Let's click this button and we'll, we'll call it Stripe session and then we will copy content sample and input it here, click create and Flutterfall will create this is data type stripe session for us so now we will go here into create subscription link action and we'll specify that we want api call to be parsed in stripe session this will allow us to parse response from api call create subscription link to uh, strongly type a result and this will simplify for us integration for our application
So now as we integrated our API project with Waterflow Next, what we will do, we actually can create logic of our application. So first of all, we will create some account for our customer. Let's imagine that we have set some type of authorization on our account creations is not related to this uh, application demo. So we will create a very basic, basic uh, customer account system where we will enter email and name and next we will proceed to subscribe page. Uh, we have here our home page of our subscriptions page and we have success and failure page. So first of all, what I will do also to not forget about this, I will enable web application and then what I will do, I will publish my application because it takes some time. So better while I will work on next steps, it will be published. So my application started publish and I will continue to show you what we will do. So what we will do for our customer, we will create some variables where we will store email and name of our customer. I will store them in variables. This is demo only approach. So for your real applications, you definitely will implement some authorization or will use custom authorization or, or will use some uh, like Firebase authorization, it's not matter, but somehow you will have email and user name. So I will create customer email field, it will be string, and I will create customer name, it will be also string. And now from this page, when I click uh, this button, I will update my state, update app state. Customer mail, set value, get state, mail address, and next I will set name, set value, widget state, name. Okay, great. So now we have these two variables stored into app state. We will use them next page, and now we will navigate to home page. Great. So now we have this page to create our customer and next we will use uh, logic on our subscription page. So next we will set our subscription logic. When our customer clicks subscribe, now we want to call API to create subscription session and then redirect uh, our customer for payment. So before I enabled my publishing for my application and now I have this test URL, you also can connect custom domain definitely and have like some custom link. But what I will want to show you is that here we have our success and failure pages. We will need them to continue configuration of our application for subscription. We have success and we have failure page. This is very important thing because for web application, we need to set up these links for our API call. So let's go to create subscription link action, body session, and here in success URL, we will paste our success link, and in cancel URL, we will paste our failure link. So also we can send some custom metadata, we can define uh, interval count, like how many interval units this subscription will uh, have billion cycle, for example, one month, like 12 months, uh, one year, and etc. Interval is a unit of time period for your subscription. So usually you can use day, week, month, and year. So in my case, it's one month. You also can have some custom uh, values defined to change your uh, subscription interval. And also, as you can see, we have some variables for our customer details and for price. So for now, we save these uh, changes. We define a success URL and cancel URL. And now when our customer click subscribe now button, we will, uh, first of all, uh, we will call our API call. And what we will do, we want to create uh, subscription link and here we have our variables so we have amount for first one it's 19 dollars and we have currency currency uses three letter uh, iso code for currency 
Next, we will add some description. For example, uh, in my case, it's API Expo uh, basic plan. It's name of our product. Then email, as you remember, email we save in our app state customer email. Uh, sorry. Yes. And next name, app state customer name. And what we have here also, it's phone and code for discount. We don't use them, so we will stop here. And we want to define some variable for result. It will be API subscription basic. And we will add next action. Uh, we have this result. We have our API call. And now what we will do, we will add the next action that actually will open external link. Uh, it will uh, navigate to, uh, it will, uh, so next what we will do, we will open external URL, which will be actually our payment URL. And we will use it from variable. And this variable will be result of our API calls. So we select action output, API subscription basic as data type. As you remember, we parsed it before data structure field URL. You can save customer ID if you need it for later, for example, to check if subscription is created and such. In this demo video, I skipped this part, but later I will also record full featured like video to show how you can manage uh, subscriptions, how you can uh, change them, allow to upgrade, and et cetera, et cetera. So this video only shows a very simple version when you subscribe to your customer. Uh, so follow our channel, subscribe to our channel too, if you are interested to watch next videos. And now I confirm my changes. So my uh, page for subscriptions is set. And let's let's check it, let's test it. I will publish my application but before i will create same logic for other plans i will just copy action chain we'll go here open paste actions need to fix names for example this will be subscription pro here we have our we need to fix our condition okay action output pro uh succeed confirm and launch url from variable action output pro uh, data type data structure field url confirm uh okay i need also change price as you remember so we have 14.9 here and for example we call it x4 pro okay and last one we will paste actions need to fix here are our variables, it's premium, and we will name it premium, and we'll get our variable, action output, premium, succeed, confirm, and launch our new action output, premium. Uh, it's data type, data structure field, URL. Okay, great. So now we have all this action set and what I will do, I will publish my web application to check how it works. Let's publish it. So we published our Flutterflow application, web application, and now we can test how it works, how our subscription works. So first of all, I will uh, provide my emails and my name and click subscribe next i am provided with different payment uh, subscription plans i will select for example pro plan and as you can see it provided me with ability to pay with stripe created subscription for me it's test mode and you can in test mode you can specify some testing card some date in future and then you can just test how it works and done and we are redirected to our success page so this is whole whole process how to enable stripe subscription payments for your website for your web application created in flutterflow 
I hope this guide will be helpful. I'm preparing, like as I mentioned, more complete guide to uh, provide uh, detailed step-by-step -step, uh, instructions about how to manage uh, subscriptions, how to display a subscription, how to allow upgrade them. So uh, subscribe for our channel, like video, and I hope this will help your applications be better. I hope this will provide you with knowledge for your projects. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.